Hey, let's row ashore and go for a walk. Okay, I'll be ready in just a couple minutes. Check out that car, Brian. Nice. It's so beautiful here. It really is. Sexy. Let's go up. Look at this. Wow. Oh, man. Ooh Look at that car. Look at that guitar. Hey, it's a Larave. Hey, it's a Morgan. So, you interested in this old car? Yeah. Well, sure, kind of, sort of, you know. Well, what are you going to offer me? We're going to offer you a song. A song? That better be a darn good one. You don't look like you could carry a tune in a bucket. Well, you'd be right, but I'm not going to play it. She is. Well, this I got to hear. Well, for your wheels, I'll play a little tune that I learned from Chet Atkins. again watching for the whales again and never have to say I wish that I had done the things that I can't do when I'm too old to play to breathe again puff again laugh again laugh again is adding the logo of Hungry for Music, one of our favorite supporting organizations, along with GHS Strings. Captain Uriel here. Yeah, we're not losing any ground. We're making just a little bit on this tack. 
We are tacking down Somme Sound. It's about a four mile long, kind of narrow, looks like about a half a mile, three quarter of a mile wide harbor. One nice thing is there are fewer lobster traps here than a lot of places we've been. Ah. Up, oh, your jib's shaking again. Bear off a little. You can't see the telltales, but I can see them. They're starting to lift. There you go. Now you're drawn. Now you're drawn. It's a pretty place to try out your sailing chops here. All right. So now, if you get a gust, you want to you want to like ride that gust up and climb the wind. You can feel that. Yeah. So I instinctively wanted to go up. And right. To the boat will do it by itself. Just get the weather helm. But if you, as soon as you feel the jib start to shake or the boat stands up a bit, that means then the, you're losing that puff and you've got to bear off again. Oh, now we're fine. Yeah. Here, where's Andy screaming along back there? Yep. I'm going to bear off a little bit. Make Wind in your more. ears. Yeah. Where's Andy? Paris of thought has been well behaved since Montauk Point. I'm almost afraid to mention it. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. <laughs> Shh, right. don't tell them. We headed for Valley Cove, a popular anchorage on the west side of Somme Sound, and the bad karma of mentioning the lack of dinghy escapes immediately came home to roost. Wouldn't you know it, where's Andy got away right out of my hand? What timing, our neighbors who we just went and saw. Ryan and Diana. Just made their acquaintance, and now they are our rescuer. I was just about to hop in the water, and man, they're gonna rescue it. You're our heroes. Oh, where's Andy? Is saved again. He's got a history of getting away. That that where's Andy's a real skateboardist. Here's something about dinner. Thank you. I have something for you. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what do you think, Captain? I think it's been a hard day of sailing today. You did a nice job coming down the sound. Thank you. After a peaceful night in Valley Cove, we upped anchor and made sail. We were bound for a curious set of islands that very conspicuously are left out of an otherwise thorough guidebook. After a lunch stop there, we'd continue on to Mackerel Cove. Stay, Andy, stay. Heal. Muriel is getting very comfortable at the helm, something that warms my heart. These islands are not in the book at all. So we'll see if there's a reason for that. Now at anchor next to Little Gut Island, we watched this beautiful schooner work back through the gap between islands we had just come through. Turn here, boy. Uh, look at these. Beautiful. Yes, it's going to look too spanking perfect and new. I don't think we have to worry about that. <laughs> this dinghy. Oh, you cut me to the quick, Muriel. <laughs> the main cruising guide has everything, but not even a mention of these. It's not in the glossary, nothing. Oh, there's mushrooms everywhere. Look at this one. What a beautiful round cover. Oh yeah, we are leaving those funny little islands south of Mount Desert Island and headed towards Swans. It is just perfection. Okay, now it's perfect. Hey Muriel, there's your sparkles on the water. I'm gonna record something. It's nice and gentle and sunny and sweet.
Muriel hopes to release her sailing album this fall. I want to step back for a minute and thank everyone who helped us do the fun little dream sequence we opened this episode with. Bob, the great one, sitting down on the job. <laughs> Bob is a great photographer and videographer, and years and years ago, I was his assistant. And Frank, Frank Wenick, who very kindly let us use and drive his Morgan. My Thank pleasure. You. Thank you so kindly. You're welcome. So Bruce has let us use his barn you see back there. Thank you, Bruce, for letting okay, us uh, yep. and, and doing the drive-by with the Ford. That was a great touch. Yep. And tell me about this shop. You you restore. Um, I mean, look at this shop. This is like the stuff of other people's dreams. This shop in a separate building. And well, you build and restore canoes. It looks build like. And restore canoes. Uh, all of these that are in here are restorations at the moment. And uh, this one up top here was the uh, was, was my grandfather's. Oh wow! Forty-seven uh, White Canoe Company. Uh, the blue one in the back hanging up is a 1910 Morris canoe. Ooh, can't walk that way. Yeah, just watch your step. Oh god. What's that tool company that was in New York City that was there for so long? Oh, Garrett Wade. Garrett Wade. God, I bought yeah, some. Yeah, well, these the, the company that's in that now sells the most uh, prestigious tools now is right here in Warren. Oh, is it right here it's, in this uh, town? Yeah, it's uh, called Lee Nielsen Tool Works, and they make a very nice high-end uh, bunch of tools. You know, hand planes, chisels. You know, all of the essentials for woodworking. And they're a little pricey, but they um, they are premier quality, worth every penny. Bruce, I could have been a termite like you. In another <laughs> life, I could have done it. One above your head, 1913. I could have made down. I could have made sawdust with the best of them. Yeah, that's fun. It's or maybe play. or maybe the worst of them. Wow, look at this table saw. Holy smokes! So you've obviously added a whole bunch of area. Yeah, just a good a good outfeed table, so you, you know can glue things up on it or whatever you need to do. Wow. Wow, wow. Yeah, so this is a canoe in progress, the one you're looking at right here. So it has the... And now is this a plug or a mold? Yeah, it's the mold, yeah. And then so the... So the... Uh, it's some stuff here, but the uh, ribs. You put the... In, these are the inside gunnels. Let me go on this. And then uh, the ribs get bent over the form and tacked to the gunnel. And then when you put the planking on, which is this here, you, when you drive a tack through the uh, planking, do you it rivet goes, it? Goes, yeah, it goes through the planking, through the rib, hits the metal strap, and clinches the tack. Oh, the metal strap does the clinching for yeah. you. Ah, yep. uh, smart. So, yep, that's what the metal you know, strips are for. So, it's a, uh, it's quite a process, but it's fun. <laughs>